What's good everybody? It's your girl Cherry and welcome back to Life of Cherry Vlogs. So Cherry Blossoms, your girl tired. Your girl, let me put the camera down, let me keep it real. Your girl is tired, okay? But I just have to do my traditional intro before I put the camera down and I, and I gave you out a tea. So in today's video, we will be getting ish done around this house. I have to, um, I have probably like legit four or five dishes in the sink that I need to wash. I have a big giant mess on this table that I'm gonna show y'all in a minute that I need to get clean. My whole closet, it just has stuff piled on top of each other. In a previous vlog, y'all saw me go to Dollar Tree and buy some storage bins. So I'm actually gonna um, organize the stuff in my whole closet today and so on for it. So I'm just gonna be moving around the house, getting the stuff done and yeah, that's basically it. Let me show y'all everything. I'm tired. I'm tired. Let me show y'all everything I'm about to do. I'm tired because um, I got a good night's sleep. Myla is at um, family's house hanging out with them. My boyfriend is at work. It is Saturday. And um, I just finished eating. And I place right here. Your girl just finished eating. And I low-key got the itis. But I'm like, you know what? Let me utilize my time, you know, effectively and let me um, get a little bit of work done around the house before my boyfriend comes home from work and before um, Myla comes back from visiting family. So, do y'all like my hair? Do y'all like my hair? Okay. In my last video, um, it was a hair video with me showing you the process of me going to the hair salon and getting my hair straightened. I was telling you guys that my hair has been falling out. Um, I have been able to retain some of my length although this is the first time y'all seeing my hair straight like your girl knows my hair used to be longer than this my hair is thinning like look how thin my hair is now like my hair is thinning but it is um i'm on the road to getting my hair back to a 100 percent healthy space and i will be keeping up with going to the hair salon and things of that nature i normally straighten my hair only twice a year but i'm going to start straightening it a little bit more frequently not that much boo not that much probably like instead of twice a year i probably straighten my hair like four times a year so i could go to professionally get it done and make sure that when i'm at home i am treating and caring for my hair the right way and um yeah so if you're interested in the whole process of me getting my hair straightened and also baby girl it was wash day for her then be sure to go check out that video which is live on this channel somewhere go find it boo go find it because it's up all right so, before I even get up and start cleaning, because your girl need a break. <laughs> I need a break. You ever needed a break before you even started doing anything? Like, yeah, call me Kit Kat, boo, because your girl always need a break. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Nah, but before I get up and actually get to work and start doing stuff around the house, I want to talk to y'all about something. I want to talk to y'all about my raggedy, ran down, busted neighbor, okay? Your girl is beefing with the neighbor because this neighbor is out of line. So, basically, at this point, I've been in this apartment for um, approximately three months now. And since I've been in this apartment, I haven't had any issues, any problems, any complaints, any bumping heads with the neighbors or anything like that when i order packages from amazon or when i order packages from anywhere for that matter my packages get delivered to my door whether i'm home or not when i come home my packages are there so that has never been an issue so this is like a new a new problem so about um uh, two months ago i say yeah about two months ago a month and a half ago somebody else moved to this floor a new person and okay everything's fine like i'm still not having any issues or anything like that so fast forward to yesterday yesterday i get a, a message from amazon like hey your package has been delivered they took a picture of the package in front of my door and i was like all right cool when i go home i'm gonna just get my package no no worries no rush or anything like that because although i do live in new york city although i do live in a building with multiple floors like still in packages and things like that is not something that i've ever had to worry about so when i came home i look in front of my door 
there's no package. I'm like, yo, where's my package at? We're like, what the heck is going on? So I knock on my neighbor's door and the neighbor's door I knocked on, it's, <clears throat> this is my neighbor that's directly next door to me. So it's my door and then it's someone else's door next to me. So I knock on a, the neighbor's door that's directly next to me and I'm like, hey, I was supposed to get a package. Um, did you happen to grab my package in a hallway or see anything and so on for it? And the neighbor was like, no, like I didn't see the package in the hallway at all. She was like, wait a minute, let me get my daughter because my daughter was here um, today and my daughter actually received the package herself. So her daughter comes to the door and the daughter's like, yeah, when I got my package delivered, like I didn't see no package or nothing in the hallway for you or anything like that. So now the neighbor, I'm talking to the mom again. The mom is like, you know, I've been living in this floor for over 20 years. Like, we never had to worry about package getting stolen or anything like that. She was like, it's pretty, like, calm and chill. And, like, it's, it's no no drama or anything like that that goes on on this floor. So, she's like, the fact that you're telling me your packages are not there, she was like, that's kind of alarming to me. Because that's me living here for over 20 years. That's never something that I had to deal with. So now I'm like, well, where the f is my package at? If she's telling me she lived here for 20 years and nobody never saw her package, even so much so, she was like, you could leave your package overnight in the hallway and you come the next day and your package is still going to be there. Like people do not be taking packages in this building. So I'm like, okay, something's not right. So I call Amazon. I'm telling them somebody saw my package. Like I am just livid i am highly upset i'm like i can't believe this happened like what is going on and amazon you know amazon is a billion dollar company they was like okay no worries we'll send you a replacement like they was just like ma'am get off my phone with all that aggression we would just replace the items that you're saying were stolen so um they i went through the process or whatever they was like don't worry your items will be shipped out tomorrow you'll receive your replacement items no big deal so i'm like okay thankfully I was able to get all of the items replaced, but that still don't take away from the fact that somebody stole my stuff. Somebody violated me by taking my packages that was left in front of my door and did whatever they did with them. So now, fast forward, this happened around like 3 p.m. yesterday, right? Fast forward, last night, it's like 11 p.m., and I hear boom, 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 boom. I'm knocked out. Y'all know me. Your girl pregnant. Like, when Myla go down, I go down. Like, we be sleeping real bright and early up in this house. But it's 11 p.m. and I am knocked out. At this point, my boyfriend still hasn't come home from work. And I hear banging on the door. So I wake up out of my sleep. I'm like, what? Who, what is that? What's going on? So I go to the door. I'm half sleep. I don't have no glasses on. I look through my peephole and I'm like, who the heck is that? So now I'm talking through the door because I'm not about to open the door. And I'm like, who is it? And they're like, oh, it's your neighbor. And I'm like, my neighbor, like, what happened? And I'm still talking to the door. They're like, oh, I have your package. My package? So I opened the door and I'm like, yeah, how you got my package? Oh, earlier today, I saw your package in the hallway and I didn't want nobody to steal it. So I just decided to take it and put it in my house. Mind you, this is a new person who just moved on this floor. You've been on this floor for two months now. And now all of a sudden, today is the day you decide to start collecting motherfucking packages and holding them in your house? Who are you? So she's like, oh, we're neighbors. We need to look out for each other. So again, it's the middle of the night. I'm half sleeping. I'm like, yeah, just give me my ish. Just give me my ish. I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm, thank you. And I told her, I said... Well, just to let you know, I did report these packages stolen. Why would um why would they say that these packages were stolen when they know they delivered it? Bitch, they know they delivered it. I know they delivered it. And we both know that they wasn't here when I got here. So they were stolen. If you have something that's supposed to be in a specific place and you get there and it's not there and no one can account for what happened to that item, then it has been stolen, period. So she's like, that's just strange that they would say it was stolen because they can look in the system and see it was delivered. That's the problem. If it was delivered, then it should have been where it said it would be when they delivered it. So I ended the conversation with her. I got the package. I immediately called my boyfriend. And he's like, if the package is open, he's like, that's so weird and strange. Like, And then she going to knock on the door at 11 p.m. to return your package. Like, Make that part make sense. So I let it go, whatever the case may be. 
So now it's um the following day. Actually, I said this happened yesterday. This didn't happen. This happened two days ago. Two days ago, that happened with the package. Now, yesterday, my replacement packages were supposed to be coming. But I'm like, okay, I already got my original package now. But so be it. Like, I'm still expecting the replacement package to come. Again, I'm not home. I get a notification. They take a picture of the packages in front of my door. Your package has been delivered. All right, cool. Come home. Look, guess what? There is no package in front of my motherfucking door again. So I'm fuming now. I'm irritated. I'm annoyed. The first thing I go do is I come in this house. I take off my coat. I go right to that neighbor's house. And mind you, this isn't even my direct neighbor. Like, yes, we live on the same floor. But this isn't the neighbor that apartment is next to mine. There is legit three apartments in between. There's two. She's the third one. So it's my apartment, another apartment, another apartment, then her apartment. We're legit distant neighbors. So my package wasn't at the door. I immediately took my coat off, went down the hall, knocking on the door. I was like, oh, excuse me. Just like this, um, you got my package? Her mother answered the door, right? Her mother goes, and her mother looked like, and I'm, you know me, I would never drag somebody through the mud intentionally. I would never, you know, put somebody's business out there. But I'm just going to always keep it real and call it how I see it. The mother looked like she was on something. She looked like she was on something. When I opened the door, a whiff of smoke immediately hit me. And it wasn't like, I don't know what kind of smoke it was, but it was something going on up in there. So the mother opens the door and I'm like, excuse me, um, did you get my package? She was like, uh, what package? I was like, I had a package delivered and it's not in front of my door. Like, did you get my package? And she's like, oh, my daughter gave your mother your package yesterday. I said, what? First of all, my mother don't even live with me. This is my apartment. So how are you giving anything to my mother? I said, better yet, miss, go get your daughter. Where's your daughter? Go get your daughter. Now, at this point, I could feel my temperature rising, but I'm trying to keep calm and I'm trying to be collective and cool. But I'm sorry, the New York Bronx version of me started coming out and I was like, go, go get your daughter. Go get your daughter. Like... Me remembering I was pregnant and all that was out the window because now you're stealing my stuff. You're stealing my stuff and we have a problem. So the mother goes to get the daughter. And when I say the daughter, I don't mean like a young girl. I mean, this woman is about in her late 40s. Like she's an adult. So she comes to the door and I'm like, yeah, I had a package delivered today and my package is not in front of my door. Like, do you have my package? She was like, um... No, I don't have your package. The only packages that got delivered on this floor today was and started pointing out the apartments who got packages delivered. Who made you the package delivery monitor of this floor? Why do you know who's getting packages, who's not getting packages, and who told you it was okay for you to now go around and collect whoever has a package in front of their door and then distribute them out to the person or the people when you felt it was most convenient to you. Who are you? Who? Let me know. So I said, mm, it's kind of strange because, and this is when I told her, and this is when I knew, I said, oh my God, this is about to take a turn for the left because at this point I was done. I said, um, it's kind of strange that I've been living here all this time and I never had no issues receiving my packages until yesterday when you decided to take my package and then return it when you wanted to return it. So she's like, mm, well, I don't, I don't have your, your package today. I said, well, listen, this is what you're going to do. If you see a package in front of my door, don't touch it. Don't touch my packages anymore. Because now all of a sudden, randomly, we got this new neighbor on the floor collecting everybody's packages. And then when a package go missing, she don't know nothing about it. But you could tell me exactly who got what package on this floor on what day. That means you're watching people and what they're ordering and when they're receiving the stuff that they order. Like, come on. You collecting packages and distributing them out when you want to. Like, who are you? So at this point, I'm fuming. I am fuming. I am on 10. And this woman doesn't have any hair. She has like a short haircut. So I was like, in my mind, I'm like, I can't even grab her by the hair. I'm like, I got to grab her by the collar. And then I, I, had to, I had to like snap out of it. Like, girl, girl, you can't be doing this. First of all, you're a mother. What type of example are you going to be setting for your child if you are in the hallway rumbling with a neighbor, even though she violated? If you are in the hallway rumbling with a neighbor, second of all, and most importantly, baby girl, you are pregnant. You cannot be out here in the hallway 
fighting your neighbor pregnant. And I, I have to like, remember, I, I can't. Girl, you a grown woman. Girl, you have children. Girl, you are pregnant. Girl, that is beneath you. But so what? Don't try to violate me and steal my stuff. Don't do that. So I am fuming. I am on 10. After I told her, I'm like, listen, if you see a package in front of my door, do me a favor. Don't touch my shit no more. Don't touch my packages. She was like, mm -hmm, yeah. And she like slowly closed the door. So I came back in my apartment. Now I'm on 10. And I call my boyfriend and I'm telling him everything that happened. And he is flipping out on the phone as well. But he's trying to calm me down. He said, calm down. Like, you're going to stress yourself out. Think about the baby. He's like, I will handle it when I come home. He's like, when I come home, I will knock on her door myself. And I said, it's the, it's the, the principle of the matter. You can tell me, oh, you didn't get no packages today, but this person, that person, and that person did. Why are you monitoring everybody's packages on the floor? And who told you to even start to collect the packages for the people. Oh, I'm just trying to look out. No, we need to be looking out for you. Because apparently you're the one stealing the motherfucking packages. So now what I'm going to do. My boyfriend told me to look into getting a camera. I'm going to look into ordering a camera. And I'm going to install a camera on the front of my door. Because you cannot tell me that this woman is not stealing my packages. What if it was something for my baby? What if it was something like, come on, I just moved here. And I'm buying stuff to furnish my home and you're stealing it. Yo, go out there and hustle and get your funds up before you start stealing your neighbor's packages. You act like we don't live on the same floor and I'm not going to see you here and there from time to time. You act like we haven't been standing in the hallway together waiting for the elevator. Like, and you got that much balls to steal my package? Like, it's crazy. So, fortunately... Even though there was two packages of the same exact items sent out, I got one package and the other package is still out there, out there floating around, missing, probably in her house, my decorations for the wall hanging up in her bedroom or something like that. But anyways, y'all, because the girl, your girl got riled up again. Let me get to the point of this video, which is to um, straighten up and get some ish together. So let me show y'all really quickly. This is how my table is looking. I went to Dollar Tree and I racked up on like all the stuff you see right here. So I need to put this away. This plate, I'm gonna put in the garbage. Here's my sink. I legit have a minimum amount of dishes in the sink. So I'm just gonna wash these few dishes and take care of that. And then here is the closet that I will be tackling today. So I'm gonna organize the top of this closet. We just have a bunch of stuff. Then this shelf as well. And then as you come down, this is all my hair ties and scarves and stuff. These are all um, bags, just like reusable bags here. This bin right here is all hair products. I know it's nasty. Don't judge me. Judge your mama. Here is the plunger, which I definitely have to move and put somewhere else. Over here are the bins that I brought from Dollar Tree that I'm going to use to... Um, organize the top of this closet so yeah that's what we got on the schedule for today I'm gonna start off by washing the dishes cleaning the kitchen table then I'm gonna get to working inside of this closet and that's is that all oh and as always as always you know I couldn't be cherry if I didn't have laundry I got some laundry right here that needs to be folded so I'm gonna um fold this laundry up as well and then maybe sneak in like a little nap or something before my boyfriend comes from work and Myla um comes back from my family's house so enough of me chatting like i really i really i low-key worked myself up a little bit just now enough of me chatting let me get to cleaning up this kitchen and organizing the closet she wanna know me Stay low key, y'all cast no breaks, baby. Let them hold sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what it's gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Is you riding on a team? Got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get lonely. I got something for you when we get home. If you let me put it down, when I hit the town, you should lie. 
think you should side with me Stay solid one time if you lie with me Just promise you never lie to me Keep the moves on tuck, I know it's all up Everything good, keep the vibes on crush I know it's all good Know it's all table is now clean i love when my table is shiny i need to um sweep the floor but i'm gonna sweep the floor look at my little sock right there i'm gonna sweep the floor after i finish washing the dishes so the table is now clean let's move on to the dishes It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it you could be a one that the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door locked Feel like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my list of the things I love, love, love You could be the one I trust All the second chances there are nothing for us I like it all with the cherry on top Be one of the things I love We don't have to move so fast Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away so much time looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it You could be one of the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door The sink is clean and the dishes are washed. I didn't have that many dishes, so I didn't open the dish rack. I just put it on the drying mat. I think I'm actually going to um, use my microfiber cloth and dry them so I can put them away. But, yeah, right now I'm just going to start on the hallway closet.
So here is everything I took from the top two shelves of the cabinet, I mean of the closet. I'm gonna get my baskets, put them on the table, and then I'm actually going to sit down and organize them and then put the basket back. So I have things from like laundry detergent, light bulbs, shaving cream, pads. Your girl, your girl not gonna need those for a minute. <laughs> like um, these little cups we use for the mouthwash. So I need to um, refill the mouthwash cups. Um, toothpaste, hand sanitizer, and iron, disinfectant spray, body wash, I mean not body wash, bubble bath, a lot of candles. I love this scent of the candle. This candle is called, hold on, it's called, um, oh, are we focused? It's called Maui, Destination Maui. And it's mango and guava. Oh my god, it smells so freaking good. I have multiple of those candles. I have a candle here that says, oh, that says today I will relax. I have a lavender candle over here, which I can't open. I have soap refills. I have this. This is so calming. Oh my gosh. If you're pregnant, I'm going to link this down below for you. If you are pregnant, get this right here. Get this pregnancy soak. It will change your skin life, okay? So I'm going to link this down below. But I love using this. As you see, it's almost empty. So yeah. So now let me just get the baskets. And then I'm going to sit at the table and organize everything. All right, Cherry Blossom. So I'm back. Um, I couldn't sit at the table to organize my bins like I wanted to. Because the bins are like not that sturdy. And carrying them back and forth wasn't a good look. So I actually just put, let me turn the camera around and show y'all. I actually put the bins in the closet and then just begin to fill them up. Um, I'm not done, but so far this is how we're looking. Up here we have that, right here that, and I didn't get to down here yet. But what I'm going to do, being that all bins didn't fit, I have three bins like this and three bins like this and only two fit on each shelf. So what I'm going to do is take this bin right here and I'm gonna put it in the bottom of the closet and that's where all of my cleaning products are going to go. Um, I have a broom back there without the stick, a broom head and a mop head without the stick. Don't ask me what happens to the sticks to both of those. But um, yeah, I'm gonna move those out the way. The plunger, I'm gonna move back and I have the paint from when I painted Milo's room. So yeah, I'm gonna put this bin down here and organize here and then I'll be back when I have a finished product. But this is how it's looking so far and it's looking way better than it was looking before. All right, Chevy Blossom, so I'm back. I'm officially done with the closet. Let me just show y'all how um, the closet is looking. And off camera, I did end up sweeping the floor in the kitchen, so I did tackle that. So here is the end result of how um, the inside of my hall or one of my hall closets is looking. All right, so on the top shelf, actually, let me get let me get on the step ladder, boo. All right, I ain't gotta get all the way up there. But on the top shelf, I have here it's just like extra soap, um, what is this called? Air freshener, overflow of wipes, and all the way in the back is the cups that we use when we're brushing our teeth and using mouthwash. Over here, it's just kind of random knickknack type of things. Like I have COVID tests there that my father still faithfully gives to me and just other random stuff. I have two irons, actually one iron here and another one behind there. That's the cup to put the water in the iron. On this shelf and in this basket in the back is like kind of empty, there's nothing back there. But I just have soaps here, two brushes here, two pastes back there, um, wipes so I could easily grab it. This near is what I use to do my eyebrows with and this is the brush that I use as well alcohol peroxide and then on this shelf here it's just kind of all candles um like i mentioned before um all of my bath stuff like bubble bath and um bath soaks i did actually put in a bin inside the bathroom and that's going to stay there for now so let me show you the bottom half of the closet now all right so here i still have these bags these are just two bags full of bags like do you got a bag full of bags in your house let me know but yeah, this is a bag full of bags. These are all of my um, scarves and things that I use for my hair. Over here is all of my hair products. 
So in this drawer, it's just like brushes and combs and stuff. In this drawer, is like all of my oils and mixtures. In this drawer, is like gel and um, things like that. And all the way down here is all of my like hair ties and stuff. Here is an overflow of beads. Y'all can hear them. That don't fit down there, so those are her beads. Um, all the way back here. Can I get back there? I did manage to put the paint back there, so the paint is all the way back there. Over here, um, I threw that other mop head out. I do have a spin mop, so I just made space to put my spin mop inside the closet because my spin mop was like in the living room. My plunger is still over there, and then right here, I put um. Let me see. Let me get down. Right here, I put my Ajax um. Fabuloso scrub brushes, just things that go for cleaning the inside of the bathroom. So little by little, day by day, your girl is getting her apartment together. I'm getting things nice and organized. So um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you are new here, hey boo, hey, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, turn on your post notifications so you'll know the next time I post a new video. I love you for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what do you think about my closet organization. And I'll meet y'all in the comments because you know your girl loves to talk and interact with y'all in the comments. But thank you so much for watching Cherry Blossoms. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.